Welcome to the House of Eldridge, David Barton, uber manicurist. Thank you, David, for coming. Thank you for having me, Lisa. Have you brought the shellac? I've brought you 12 most beautiful colours to choose from. Oh my God, I've been desperate to have shellac nails. I've been hearing all about them. Apparently they last for two weeks. It's like a normal manicure lasts for two weeks and all the beauty editors who've had them done say they are amazing and you are Mr. Shellac, you're the man to do it. Thank you very much. So is it, it's like a normal nail brush and it genuinely lasts two weeks. So what is it, is it, because gels last normally? long but well, what's how, what's it made what is it well this is a hybrid system so it's bringing all the properties together of polish and all the properties together of a gel to make this fantastic nail system which is revolutionary and it's going to change the face of nail polish <gasps> oh my god so i'm so excited, excited. <laughs> so it actually genuinely you have it done like a normal manicure so it's like getting your nails painted you're not going to file them the nails down are you no no there's no need to do any filing of the natural nail it goes on just like polish but wears like a gel oh my god because that's the reason I never had bio sculpture because I never wanted my nails filed down and this is like every girl's dream right two weeks of no chips two weeks and with right. a mirror like finish yes this is what I've been waiting for folks what do you need to do with my nails because I've got polish on well personally to... we need to remove your nail polish yep. file your nails and push back your cuticles mm -hmm. ready to start shellacking you <gasps> right let's get on with it what I'm doing first is just removing the nail polish from your nail plate, ready to apply the shellac. Oh, it's shellac? Yeah, I've been, shellac. I think I've been saying the wrong thing. I've been pronouncing it incorrectly, but I won't do from now on. So firstly, Lisa, we're just going to file your nails into shape. So it's not, um, it's nothing to do with extensions, because you can't, ex obviously you can't extend with shellac. No, it's a natural nail product. It's just uh, like normal polish. It's just like normal polish. The only difference is it does wear like a gel. So it's got more flexibility in it. Mm -hmm. And it does protect your natural nail as your natural nail grows out. My nails split really easily. I can't get them any longer than this. If I was to have this on regularly, I think my nails would grow. Yes, it's providing support for your nails, so if you tend to snag one of your nails or bend one of your nails, your nails more likely to flex than just to snap straight away. So what we're doing now, Lisa, is just removing the cuticle off your nail plate to provide mm -hmm. a nice foundation and smooth, even surface for the shellac to be applied. So we're just on the final nail now, pushing back the cuticle, and you're ready to choose your shellac colour. I'm thinking about the colour, because I know it's going to stay on for two weeks if I find it harder than normal, because normally I chop and change, so I'm thinking either I'll go for like the natural one or something like a red, so it's going to go with everything that I'm going to wear, and I think I'm probably going to go with the red, but these are the only colours you've got. At present there's only 12 colours in the collection, by August there's going to be another 12 and then by January 2011 there's going to be 60 colours in the collection. Oh 60? Yeah. That's what we used to do isn't it girls, we used to do a lot of choice of polishes but out of these 12 I think I am going to go for the red. Okay, the first process is applying your base coat, so we apply a thin layer all the way over the nail ensuring we cut the free edge. Is that a special base coat or just a normal base coat? This is a special base coat, a shellac base coat. Okay. Again, bring it down your side, down the middle, down the other side, and then across your free edge. Okay. Pop your hand okay. in. And that's going to cure for 10 seconds for you. Okay. It's quite breezy in there. It is. <laughs> it's quite nice. <laughs> so we're going to apply the first layer of shellac. Okay. A nice thin coat. Oh, it's a lot thinner than I thought. I thought it was going to be like a gel, paste stuff. No, nice and thin, just like polish. How many coats will you have to put on? It is a two coat system. First coat is just like a thin coat and you'll see it's quite translucent on the first coat. Mm. On the second coat you'll get your depth of colour. I just can't quite believe that I'm going to wake up every day for the next two weeks with these perfect shiny red nails and 
they're going to be exactly like this they're going to stay like this some people do get longer than two weeks out of it the only visible sign that you'll see that you'll need a mani new manicure is at the cuticle area where you'll get your regrowth so this is your first layer of color which we're now going to pop into the lamp to okay, cure for two there, minutes yeah. okay while that hand's curing we can proceed with your other hand okay great so this is your final layer now and we're ready to go in the lamp for two minutes with this hand back in for two minutes okay So that's two coats on and now I just need my top coat, right David? That's right. This is your final layer and this is your top coat which gives it the fantastic shine and also locks the colour into your nail to prevent any chipping or peeling. What I need to know actually is I need to know about the aftercare. What's the deal? What do I have to avoid or...? There's nothing really that you need to avoid. What I would recommend that you do is wear rubber gloves and you wash up mm -hmm. and apply I'll a do nail. that anyway. Oh, that's good. Apply a nail and cuticle oil every yeah. day just to keep your nails in condition and also your cuticles nice and soft. Okay. Well, what I really need to know about is what happens after two weeks? How am I gonna remove them? After two weeks, I go back in you there? can go back in the lamp. Okay. After two weeks, you can return to the salon and have them soaked up professionally. Alternatively, you can get removers from your therapist and they are remover pads that you secure onto your finger and then after 10 minutes, the shellac just breaks down and just wipes off your nail and leaves your nail clean. And it doesn't stain the nails? No, it doesn't stain the nail. I will just add that the shellac is completely three free Oh, so it hasn't got any formaldehyde? No formaldehyde, no tooling, no DBP, and also it's hypoallergenic. Mm, that's great. So I've had my base coat, two coats and a top coat, and it's all cured, so am I done? No, just one final thing, and I just need to wipe over your nails to remove an inhibition layer that's been left by the gel. <laughs> Having my inhibitions removed. Oh, it looks like nail polish remover. Yeah, it looks like nail polish remover, but it's not. It's just a sticky layer that's left on the surface of the nail by the gel. Is it acetone um, though? It's not acetone now. Okay. Acetone would actually bring them straight off again. Okay. So that, if you left that layer on, what would happen? It'd just be sticky and you'd get things sticking oh, to okay. it, like yeah, dust yeah. and mm -hmm. anything oh, flying around in the air. So my nails are finished, they look incredible. I just can't believe that they're totally dry. Are you sure? They're 100% dry. So I could knock them like that? Try it. Oh yeah, they really are. Oh yeah, they're solid. So I could put my hand in my bag. You can do anything, no dry time for you. Can I rub it on the towel? You. Rub it on the towel. <laughs> yeah, it's perfect. It doesn't smudge it at all. Oh, they look amazing. I'm so thrilled. Thank you so much for coming in to do them for me. Thank you. So guys, I have been shellacked. How cool is this? It's the shiniest, most amazing looking polish I've ever had on. I can hardly believe it's gonna last. Except that I know people who've had it done and they tell me it really does last for two weeks and sometimes even longer. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a picture of my nails two weeks from now and I will post that picture on my blog and let you know how I've been getting on with them. I hope you enjoyed that and thanks for watching.